Welcome. This video will explain gridding, launching, and landing procedures for contests held at a Freda airport. These events are typically sponsored by the SGC Soaring Foundation, which has a clubhouse located on the airport grounds and an entrance off of Airport Road. Most gliders will be tied down in this area, or they may be tied down here. Please note that the yellow lanes are taxiways and must be kept clear at all times. Similarly, gliders and support vehicles must never be parked near the fuel pumps or the roads that lead out onto the ramp. During the morning pilot's briefing, you will be assigned a grid position. Then a grid time will be set. The grid time is a deadline for all pilots. You are expected to have your glider on the grid and ready to go by that time. Gliders that are not in position at this time must go to the back of the grid and will be launched last. Before you push out to the grid, ask yourself, have I done a positive control check or a critical assembly check today? If you have not done so, you need to perform one. Contest safety is important for all. Get another pilot or a crew member to witness or assist you with your check. Then have them put their initials and the date on the wing tape at your left wing route. Contest staff will be watching for these initials and you may lose your grid spot if safety checks are not being performed. Contest grids at Afreda use the same general setup at both ends of the runway. In this video, we will illustrate a launch to the south, as this is the most common scenario. The grid will be split into two groups, lower numbers on the east side of the runway and higher numbers on the west side. Each grid position will be clearly marked on the pavement where the glider's nose should be parked. When you are ready to push out to the grid, move your aircraft along this corridor here, or this area here. If you transit the ramp between the tie-downs and the runway, you must remain clear of the runway and leave enough space for gliders to grid. Note that cars, motorcycles, and pets must remain west of the tie-down area. Please be courteous and do not leave your vehicle or belongings where they will block the movement of other aircraft. Because of the flurry of activity near grid time, you should plan on moving your glider at a walking pace no faster. If your grid spot is on the far side of the runway, you should move your glider along the ramp until it is directly across from your grid position. Then move your glider straight across the runway. Crossing the runway perpendicular is important as it minimizes the time you are blocking the runway and exposed to danger. Runway 22 or 04 is noted as a glider runway, but inattentive power pilots do sometimes use it. Please exercise extreme caution whenever you are on or near the runway surface. Gliders should be positioned on the grid so that their wing tips are clear of the runway's object-free zone. Once all gliders are on the grid, we may elect to compress the line, reducing the space between each glider so that we maximize the available runway. Finally, all gliders should have their noses angled slightly in the direction of the runway center line. This will allow them to be towed directly from their grid position onto the runway. While waiting for the launch, gliders should never be left unattended. Thermals and gusts regularly appear on the airport grounds, and they have damaged aircraft at a Freda before. When the launch begins, pilots must pay special attention to safety. Volunteers, crew, and spectators should always be clear of the runway and behind the wing of the launching glider. You must be strapped in and fully ready for takeoff when you are the fourth from the front of the line. We use multiple tow planes at the contest, so gliders can go from fourth to first in a matter of moments. When your glider is at the front of the line, launch volunteers will automatically hook up your rope and prepare to run your wing. If you are not ready, you need to release the rope. The tow plane will not wait for a rudder waggle or other signal. They will launch as soon as the rope is taut. As you accelerate onto the runway, both the tow plane and the glider should gently curve to follow the runway center line. Be aware that there are two signs at the midfield runway crossing. As long as you are within the runway edges, 
they are a non-factor. But keep them in mind if you have a problem early on in your toe. As you lift off, remember that there is a parallel runway and a perpendicular runway, both of which can be used in the event of an emergency. The tow plane should drop you off somewhere along the edge of the plateau to the west of town. The higher terrain is better for finding lift, with the radio towers and the, quote, pig farm being common trigger spots for thermals. Note that there is no thermaling allowed at or below pattern height within one mile of the airport. If you find yourself below 2,500 feet MSL near the airport, simply make a safe landing and take another tow. When you return to Afreda from being out on course, you should switch your radio to the airport frequency when you are five miles out. Listen to the radio traffic for a few seconds, then call your position when you are four miles out. When you come in to land, you can use one of the main runways, preferably the glider runway, which is 22-04. The glider traffic pattern is always to the west of the airport over town. You can also use the perpendicular runway if there are strong crosswinds. The traffic pattern for this runway is always to the south of the airport. Be aware that the perpendicular runway has a ditch at the halfway point between the old asphalt and the newer surface. Be sure to land beyond the ditch or stop short of it. Please go through your landing checklist before you enter the pattern as it may be crowded and stressful. Call your pattern on the radio, but keep your broadcasts as short as possible. Double check to ensure that your gear is down and locked. After you touch down, slow the glider enough to ensure that it is under control. Then try to roll off the runway at an angle. Keep the glider rolling until it is completely clear of the runway. Finally, watch for the runway signs and other pilots and gliders during your rollout. When your glider comes to a stop, do not spend time in the cockpit shutting things down. You must assume that lots of gliders are landing just after you. Get out of the cockpit quickly and pull your glider as far from the runway as practical. That will give other landing aircraft a place to do their rollout. After the flight, do not leave your glider unattended unless it is securely tied down. You have one hour after landing to turn in your flight log. Use that time to secure the aircraft, then turn in your log file. Then you can relax and clean up from your flight, chat with other pilots, and celebrate your accomplishments. Keeping all of these items in mind will ensure a safe, fun contest for everyone. Thanks for your attention, and have fun flying at Afreda.